W100, W100, it's an initiative um, created because we think that um, there is a lot of wonderful, amazing women, leaders, change makers, but uh, they are not connected. So they are doing a lot of amazing things, but they don't know each other. And we created this initiative to connect women, women bridging Brussels because it's in Brussels. And it's first of all to connect women, but it is also to uh, create a safe space to think about our future, to think about our challenges and about the place of women uh, in the public space. And um, in Brussels, as you know, it's a very diverse city and uh, the challenge of a city with women from different backgrounds, it's to um, break the silos and uh, to bridge each community, each social groups, uh, taking into account ages, nationality, origin, sector of activities, um, radical inclusion, so uh, queer, uh, women with handicap, women with headscarf, women with um, uh, high level position, women uh, who are more active on the grounds uh, with um, in the popular neighborhoods. So that's the challenge of uh, W100. Public space, is often, too often, uh, think by men. And uh, where is the woman in the uh, reflection, in the, to think, uh, the cities. And it's uh, for us a way to, uh, so reappropriate, reappropriate, I don't know if it's, uh, so we organized two years ago, a meeting with 100 women, 100 women, but now, because of the COVID crisis and the sanitary requirements, uh, uh, we are doing our activity outside, so in the public space, with this exhibition. But we want to organize also a lot of activities to connect women. And, uh, for example, a walk together for the city and the world of women, and also a picnic uh, on the streets with women and uh, also to, to change names of the streets uh, because as you know the majority of the names of the streets are the names of men and that's not normal so we need also to say no <laughs> it's not okay we need to change because the name of the street is also an indicator of the place of women on the public space that's, I think that I was born for this <laughs> idea. <laughs> I am from immigrant background. My grandparents came from a village in the north of Morocco in the mountains. I am now in the heart of Europe. I feel me very privileged because my mom, uh, she has never been to school. My father is um, uh, electrician. And I have the chance to uh, have education and to go to the university. I have also the chance to live in Molenbeek, a very popular neighborhood, but also to have uh, a lot of contacts in the uh, more privileged uh, space. And with all of these things, I say that with this change, with this privilege, I need to give back to community, but community is not Moroccan community, Belgian community, no, it's more large. And uh, connect people is just magic because I think that stereotypes, discrimination, exclusion is based on ignorance. And because people, they don't talk, they, they don't tell, talk each other. And I just have one question for people in general, how many friends you have from different backgrounds. 
And one author, I don't remember who uh, his name, he said, you are the average of the five peoples uh, you know who are in the, your, your, your neighborhood. So think, who is my best friend? Who is my old friend? With who I'm drinking a coffee? With who I'm... And sometimes it's the people who looks like you. It's a little bit boring, you know? So it's more challenging when you meet other people. So it's very important for the success of a project. Because if you have diversity to think, you have more uh, uh, creative ideas um, to connect people. So you have to be an example at the beginning of the process to have a success at the end of the process. And uh, yes. And so W saw is la moyenne de the seven women who started it. Exactly, good. Yes, je n'ai jamais pensé à ça, it's true. <laughs> but during the process, we lost some women because uh, they had no the same privilege as the others. For example, we had one woman, she was in a precar precar precarious situation and it was very difficult to be volunteer each week. Or another example, a mom with little children and we lost so women who had not babysitter or a man to care um, to look after children etc so you know what i mean and in the middle of the project i said mm. so now we have just the privileged woman and ça va pas. it's not okay fatima so so we could so w could could not just happen in brussels it could happen anywhere in, in any city Yes, exactly. And to be honest, my dream is to have a double vessel in each city all around the world because uh, it's a, a project not only dedicated for Brussels, but uh, a pro it, 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 it must be a project uh, to be duplicated. Um, in Africa, in South of America, in Asia, uh, because want to connect women with other women, to, um, to say you are not alone, we are together and we are the future. Lots of women who are conveners of other women in the civic space are joining We Convene already. Um, no pressure, no payment, just friendship. Um, if you'd like to join us, send a message to on LinkedIn to Utara or I, Julia, just telling us under, in under 50 words why you are a woman who convenes other women in the civic space. And, and if you'd rather find out more first, then join one of our um, sessions, which is on the third Wednesday of every month. Delighted to welcome you.